just wanted to make this short video, hopefully short video, about some comments which were made by Strauss Selnick, who's the CEO of Take-Two Interactive, uh, which, as we know, is Rockstar Games' parent company. Now, he was asked by GamesIndustry.biz, a gaming news website, which is affiliated with IGN, uh, they asked him about the decision by Microsoft to make the next Call of Duty game, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, uh, make it available straight away from its release date on Xbox Game Pass, which is, for those who don't play Xbox, it's Xbox's subscription service that gives people access to a kind of whole game library for a monthly fee. The PlayStation equivalent is PS Plus. Um, so just to put this into context for those who didn't know about this decision by Microsoft, uh, this is because Microsoft bought Activision Blizzard, the developer behind the Call of Duty series. That's how this all kind of came about. Um, but Strauss Selnick told gamesindustry.biz when asked about this, that I think that offering a frontline title with a premium price in a subscription service day and date will push consumers to that subscription service for at least a period of time. But he then goes on to say that the move doesn't change how Take-Two views the subscription opportunity. He says, no, it won't affect our decisions because our decisions are rational, which is quite quite some shade that he's throwing there on uh, Microsoft. Um, the article also refers to comments he made back in 2022 about subscription services um, having brand new games on them on the day they come out. He said in 2022, that doesn't make any sense to us because economically speaking, we don't think consumers are prepared to pay for that and we can't afford to turn our business upside down in a way that doesn't make sense economically. Now, I just wanted to flag these comments because this is take two basically confirming that they won't be following this model of putting up brand new games on subscription services on the day they come out. So therefore, GTA 6 and presumably the next version of GTA Online won't be put up on Xbox Game Pass and PS Plus, at least not kind of straight away. I don't think anyone really expected that to be the case anyway, but what I'm interested in in this is what this means for Rockstar's own subscription service, GTA Plus. Because I made a video a while ago saying that I was concerned that the prominence of GTA Plus in GTA Online meant that the next version of GTA Online could effectively be locked behind GTA Plus. You would have to have it to properly play the game, either completely play the game or kind of really enjoy the game. But from what Strauss Zelnick is saying now, it sounds like that probably won't be the case. I don't know, the comments are quite vague and a lot can happen between now and next year when GTA 6 and the new, the new GTA Online presumably uh, will be coming out. So let me know what you think about these comments and what you think about the idea of putting games, brand new games up on Xbox Game Pass and PS Plus on day one. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts about that and GTA Plus as well and the future of GTA Plus.